To perform this experiment, first bring the two chemicals, ammonia and hydrochloric acid, to the experiment table, preferably inside the confines of a fume cupboard or in a well-ventilated area. Next, take the cylindrical tube and fasten it on a retort stand using a finger clamp. Now, take two cotton balls in two watch glasses or petri dishes and add several drops of ammonia and hydrochloric acid to each cotton ball using the droppers. Introduce the two cotton balls, one on each end of the glass tube, at the same time. Stopper the open ends of the tube with the rubber corks also at the same time. Allow the setup to remain undisturbed and observe closely. As soon as you introduce the two cotton balls into the tube and secure the rubber stoppers, you will observe a thin white cloud ring starting to form somewhere towards the cotton ball dipped in hydrochloric acid in the glass tube. As the reaction progresses, this cloud ring increases in area, travels closer to the hydrochloric acid cotton ball, and eventually begins to spread throughout the inside of the tube. The white fumes are more concentrated towards the hydrochloric acid side because the fumes of ammonia are lighter than those of hydrochloric acid and therefore travel comparatively faster and thereby moves quicker towards the hydrochloric acid. The fast-moving ammonia fumes also create an air current, bringing about a beautiful circular convection flow in the white cloud that is formed. The combination reaction between ammonia fumes and hydrochloric acid or hydrogen chloride fumes can be represented by the following chemical equation. The white fumes formed in the tube is actually solid ammonium chloride composed of microscopic particles of the same, creating the illusion that it is in the gaseous state. If you allow the fumes to remain long enough in the tube, they will eventually settle down and form white deposits of ammonium chloride crystals on the inner walls of the tube. This experiment is also a classic example of combination reaction because only one product is formed from the combination of two reactant molecules.